Uganda is leading the region as an emerging hub for crowdfunding. The online platforms, which also offer grants, endowments, debts, and equity, have raised $37.2 million in 2015 in Uganda, Kenya, Rwanda, and Tanzania. Research and crowdfunding, the pooling of money by many individuals for equity investment in startups and peer-to-peer -peer finance show that last year, the nascent segment raised $7.5 million in Uganda, $22 million for investments in Kenya, $4.2 million in Tanzania, and $3.5 million in Rwanda. Impressive growth rates of between 312% in Uganda and 112% in Kenya have been recorded in Rwanda. Crowdfunding grew by 169% and 281% in Tanzania. A study commissioned by London-based analytics firm Allied Crowns Limited shows that in the first quarter of this year, the pools reached $17.8 million, a near two-fold increase over the corresponding period last year. Crowdfunding raised $34 billion globally last year. The World Bank estimates that crowdfunding activities globally will raise $96 billion by 2025. According to the World Bank, crowdfunding holds the most promise for helping entrepreneurs in undeserved areas, but caution must be applied. Crowdfunding has the potential to become the next big thing for financial inclusion, but it brings along risks for both borrowers and lenders the need to better understand and address in a timely manner. Financial experts attribute the favorable return environment for foreign capital in Uganda to have increased prospects for local investors to benefit from impact funds. The challenge, though, remains the slow trickle through the pipeline, laws not being conducive, no tax incentive for early-stage investors, and exchange rate risks. The rise of crowdfunding is attributed to alternative credit scoring models, low fixed and operating costs, quick loan processing, low interest rates, new asset class to yield starved investors, and no prudential requirements.